Okay, Chase P. Madonna of uh, Mega Life 21 Progressive Discussions. I am here once again on a rainy Saturday afternoon. Uh, the Royal Hibachi Buffet, Route 46 uh, West Saddlebrook, New Jersey. And here is the beautiful party room. The beautiful uh, Turkish lamps are turned on. All right. This one is nice. Alright, I don't even know if I have that one. Do I have that one? I don't know. We'll find out. I can always take a photo. But right now, I'm going to get some succulent cod, cod scrod or scrod cod filet. Look at that. Beautiful. Thick. Look at the thickness of that bacalao, that codfish. I know, I know uh, you've seen this before, but you know what? This is an outstanding, an outstanding bargain. And it, I'm going to uh, take partake in a little uh, surf and turf. I can smell the lemon. It's, it's got a lemon-based sauce. All right. Oh, here's some uh, nice mussels. Um... What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna, these are really the best tasting mussels, the Northern, uh, North Atlantic black mussel. But I'm gonna get some barbecued lamb ribs. Here we have fettuccine Alfredo with broccoli and um, shrimp, All right? Let me get some lamb ribs here. Some costilla, the sacrificial lamb. I want to give a shout out to my uh, my buddy Jeff Zambello and uh, the Exorcist Bishop Brian, the star of the show uh, on the Travel Channel, Ghost Adventures. I know he appreciates this fine cuisine. Look at these lamb ribs, wonderful. Where are those potatoes? No, no, peasant food. I don't eat that. I don't eat that. All right, that's good. Well, maybe one more lamb rib. The Mongolian barbecues. Mongolian barbecue guy. What do you got there? Green bell peppers and shrimp. The king of Mongolian barbecue. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that vapor action. Okay, we got shrimp and bell peppers. The vapors of life. All right. The, girl, the, the waitresses are laughing at me. I think I'm going to have to put her on YouTube if uh, she continues to laugh at me. You want to go on YouTube? No. Are you sure? All right. That's punishment. Punishment. Oh, oh. You should be on the gala. On the CCTTTV, TTV, whatever, gala. What is it? You want to be on the gala? Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll create a gala right here. The Royal Hibachi Gala. Okay. This is from China, so I tease her about that. Okay, here we are. Mild chicken wings. For the very finest in Buffalo hot wings for your uh, pay-per-view sporting events or any sporting events. Regardless what they are. Football, baseball, soccer, hockey basketball the finest in hot wings buffalo wings take out to take out hello there hi how are you you can take you can come in you can get a container and you can take them home to your sporting event party in bulk in bulk okay royal hibachi buffet sporting event specialty hot wings to go that's the mild all right now let me close this let me close that and here is the buffalo chicken wings as you can see in the wonderful hot muy picante sauce okay buffalo wings to go for your 
sporting event parties. Come in and get them. Royal Hibachi Buffet, Route 46 West, Saddlebrook, New Jersey. It's James P. Madonna saying, you got it? Well, I hope so. Hope you got it. All right. All right, now let me check the lemons. I think I got lemons already. Here we got squish squash. Oh, what is that? That's something, tortilla? Green tortilla? No. Quesadilla maybe? Hmm. I don't know. I have no idea what that is. No duck this time though, but I know what I'm gonna get on the second round. I'm gonna get the uh, chow mein foam noodle uh, on the bottom, and I'm gonna put those black mussels right on top with the with the um, seafood broth that it comes in. Here's my favorite Chernobyl radioactive ice cream. I think what I think it's I believe it's like French vanilla with nuts. Chocolate chip mint, all-time favorite. Dark chocolate, the, the real all-time favorite. Okay, that might be coffee ice cream, which is very good if you're making a Kahlua milkshake with, you know, Kahlua coffee liqueur. All right, vanilla, the old standby. You know anything, vanilla goes with everything. You ever notice that? Vanilla goes with everything. You can't use chocolate for root beer float ice cream soda, uh, pie a la mode, uh, hot apple strudel. You got to really go with vanilla. Vanilla is the only flavor. Oh, here, yeah, look what we got. The succulent, uh, these jabronis over here looking at me over here. How dare they stare me down. Here we got uh, the mangoes and the papayas. The mangoes and the papayas are here. All right, you know what? I'll have to come back. I'll have to come back. Yeah. This is probably enough for my water, but not enough for the, for the scrod cod filet. All right, this is round two. James P. Madonna. I got the chow mein fun. Angel hair rice noodles as a bedding for the uh, the black northern uh, mussels with the broth of the sea. The juice that it comes in, I will place on top of this. So this way, the noodles will act as a bedding and absorb the juice. Um, these cockle clams also are very tasty. So is brown rice, but this brown rice has chicken in it. I don't want it to clash with the seafood. Or one can pour these um, clean cooked shrimp um, in uh, a, a spicy Creole sauce. But I'm going to go with the black. Uh, I'm going to go with the black mussels. Okay. Uh, let me see if. My favorite crab soup is here. And there it is. There it is. Crab soup. All right, now let me go get these black mussels. base uh, kind of sauce, uh, probably lemon, uh, olive oil, garlic, as I can smell, of course. But these mussels are by far the tastiest of all the mussels. Just like the northern lobster, like the main North Atlantic lobsters, have a better flavor than the tropical uh, rock lobsters. Or spiny, should I say, the spiny lobster. All right, there you go. That's good. 
Look at that succulent, succulent broth. Now there is some calamari in there, but I like these mussels a lot. And uh, I like the flavor of these mussels. And we're gonna stop and say hi to the King of Mongolian barbecue. doing his thing okay now back to the table because I don't have any more room right, let's see what we got here chicken teriyaki here you have the, uh, the grilled asparagus tastes fantastic even though it makes my urine stink to high heavens mac and cheese Outstanding macaroni and cheese. Roast chicken. Alright, spinach and cheese or spinach or gratin. And um, alright, now. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Here's some Chinese uh, pop popular specialty, your General Tzu chicken, sesame chicken. When I asked them who General Tzu was, they have no idea. Here's lo mein. Lo mein noodle, not to be confused with high mein. I have, they have no idea who General Tzu was. I, I really don't know why, but yeah. It's gotta be, there has to be a real General Tzu, to be honest with you. Uh, after this, I think I'm gonna go get some uh, succulent papaya. Lemons. There you have it. Here we have the uh, delicious uh, marinated grilled eggplant. They just brought out here the Royal Abachi buffet, and uh, I don't know. I imagine these are quesadillas. Could try one. Mm. You know what? Even though I I was trying to get ice cream. <laughs> Try one. The eggplant I've had before, it's really very tasty. Ice cream's a little, well, I guess I can get some. Um, oh, I have to come back. I'll come back for it. You know what? I might as well get it now. Alright. Despite these other flavors, I'm going to go for good old chocolate, dark chocolate. Uh, I like using a regular spoon. It's sharper and it digs into the ice cream better. I think it does. Oh, it's nice and hard. That's because that's because the kids are not diving in here. That's because it's not the weekend. All the fatty arbuckle children are not here. You know, as um, as one of the managers calls it, the weekend kids. The fatty arbuckle kids. All right, without without boring people, 
I'm going to cease and desist this episode here. Otherwise, I'll bore the hell out of people. They don't want to see me scooping ice cream. This has been a Mega Life 21 production.